In this video, we bring you a breakdown of a high-level Jack and Jill. What's up, gang? Brian B., a Miss Megan. We are bringing you a breakdown of a video from Ken and Julia that we found scouring YouTube. You're kind of looking at it now. And so they do this cool tuck, and we are going to give you our version. It's actually very, very doable. So let's do our version, and we'll talk about how we get there. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven, eight, one, and two, three, four. And then we're on to whatever's next. So this is actually super simple. It combines a bunch of uh, reasonably intermediate, not super high level stuff. But when you combine it together, you get something really cool. So first thing is, it's just a simple sugar tuck where we would anchor at the end, right? But instead, we're gonna use a, a little bit of rotation to cause a rock and go. So as we make this tuck, instead of slowly dancing the fore and the anchor, we're gonna over-rotate that hand, which is gonna cause Miss Megan to pop out into a rock and go. So let's discuss that. One, two, three, and four. Now on the five and six, I'm gonna accelerate this hand, and she's gonna move rotationally, Boom, boom, and then she's gonna pop down line. Now I'm restricting her space here, but she's rotated into that. Now from this point, this left hand is looping over and down. So if we just talk about the left hand, it's over and down. That's the action of that hand. So let's talk about that one more time. Then we'll add the second hand in. So just my left hand, over and down. Cool, now we add the duck into this. So sugar tuck, one, two, three, and four. Adding the rock and go five and six over rotated. Now, as this hand comes over, it's gonna present her tricep slash uh, armpit, and I'm gonna take this over as I step to the side. Now, for the followers, let's do it from this side so you can, we can discuss this duck for you. Do, 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 and as you're gonna duck, the higher I go on this, the less Megan has to duck, right? So if I wanted to do this really high, she would hardly have to duck at all. The tighter I get to her armpit, the more she's gonna need to make that duck happen, yes? So leaders, the higher I go up towards the elbow, the easier it is. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and seven. They hold eight. Then they have a little one and two. This is where we get a little BS in the footwork, but we go one and two, and then we both walk three, four for the anchor, three, four, and that puts us back on the correct foot to come out, yes? So let's look at this one more time because there's a kind of a cool trick um, that they use at the end to cause this to happen. Boom, so as we tuck this in, again, we're kind of leading this a little bit rotationally, and that's why he kind of makes this look cool. He uses this hand to assist in the rotation. Boom, walk, walk for the anchor. So, keys to victory, um, number one, understanding how to over-rotate this to create the rock and go. Restricting the space, we're using this rotational connection. I connect this onto her tricep to cause the duck. They check in, I'm checking her weight away with either this connection or this connection. I let go of this, we walk, walk, and you guys have a great breakdown uh, of Jack and Jill. If you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button, share these with your friends, and head to westcoastswingonline.com where we have almost 500 videos, we have 400 blog posts, and we have the world's first uh, ebook, the greatest resource of West Coast Swing ever created to this date. So you see you guys on a dance floor soon. Mm -hmm.